Okay, so today we are going to be patching our Mortal Kombat 2 ROM to Mortal Kombat 2 Plus. I am remaking this video because the patching process has changed. You can no longer use the website to do it. We have to use a program called Lunar IPS. So let's uh, let's get started. All right. So first things first, we are going to uh, you know obtain your MAME ROM. You want to make sure you're using a ROM for uh, from a MAME set that is compatible with the version of MAME you are using. If you download the version of MAME from the Mortal Kombat Plus website, it is version two point or excuse me, point two one three. So you have to get a make sure you have a ROM that is compatible with point two one three. So we're gonna um we're gonna launch the ROM I downloaded just to make sure that it is a compatible ROM. I, I if you use anything from like 0.199 to 0.216 I think this ROM is and it was fine so let's just make sure yep we're good revision 3.1 is the ROM that we're downloading okay so let's go ahead to our ROM folder there's there's our ROM so what we have to do is extract this ROM so I'm gonna extract this we're gonna unzip it okay so now we have the ROM files here. Uh, I'm going to move this. Let's cut it, paste it over here just to make it easier. We'll call this MK2 original files. Okay. Uh, and now we have to download the, the patch files. So if we go to Mortal Kombat Plus.com, we're going to go to downloads. Um, Mortal Kombat 2 Beta 2. Download. We have to accept. All right, I'm going to click open, and uh, we need to extract this too, because this is also a zip folder. So I'll make a, I'll just make a folder here. We'll call it uh, patch files. Um, these folders could be wherever you want. It's just for organization here. We're going to delete them at the end. We're going to move all the patch files to patch files. So now we have a, an unzipped copy of our ROM and an unzipped copy of the patched files. Um, it's very important now, if you're using Windows 10 at least, to go to View and make sure that file name extensions is checked so you can actually see the extensions. So when I open the patch files here, you can see they're the .ips. We need to be able to see that. Um, and then if we go to the original files, they are .ug12, 16, whatever. Um, so that's it's it, if you go to patch IPS an IPS file with an IPS file it's going to screw up everything. All right. So um we don't need all these files here. We only need the ones from the that we're going to be patching. So let's take the patch files over there, put let's go over here and look at our originals. So we only need these files and the rest we can delete. So um, I need the UJ UG12. I don't need any of these. I don't need this. I think I could delete all these. So we should just have UG and UJ12, UG and UJ20 and 16, and the sound file SU2. Okay. There we go. So now we're going to download Lunar IPS. Um, I don't know if there's a link to it on here. I think there might be. But I will put a link in the video description below. Just in case. Yeah. I'll just download it. Lunar IPS. Alright. I'll just unzip that into here. Close, close, we don't need any of that, we're done. Okay, so now we're gonna patch the ROM files. So if we go to uh, Open Lunar IPS, we're gonna click Apply IPS Patch, and we're going to, it says, select IPS file to use, that is the patch file. We're gonna go to our patch files, and we're gonna, we'll start with the top of the list, and we'll go down, so SU2. And now it says, select the file to patch. We're going to find the original files. now. Uh, you'll notice it doesn't show anything. We have to go down here and uh, change most common ROM files to all files. And we're going to have to do that every time because, you know, why not? Um, so we're trying to patch SU2. There's U2. 
and it says it was successfully patched. You want to be very careful. You don't want to patch the wrong file. It screws up everything and you have to start over. Uh, next IPS file is UG12. Okay, now we have to do this again. UG12 down here. Okay, apply patch. UG16. I know it's kind of tedious, but we have to do it. You only have to do it once. Okay, UG16. And I'm not double clicking because you could accidentally double click the wrong file, which I've done. This is like the second time I'm recording this video. Okay, so. Uh, apply patch 20 UG 20 excuse me UG 20 UJ 12 UJ 12 UJ 16 UJ 16 UJ20. UJ20. Okay, so they're all patched. We're done with Lunar IPS. We could delete it. Don't need that. Uh, we could delete the patch files. We don't need that. Okay, so these are our newly patched ROM files, and we have to drag those into the ROM. Um, so let's. By the way, Control N is what I'm using to just make a duplicate of the window to make things easy. If you uh, if you're doing this at home, um, so we'll go to our ROM. So there's our Mortal Kombat 2 ROM. Here are our new files, and we're just gonna drag them in. And it says copy and replace, and yes to all. Now, if you're using the new version of Mame, the excuse me, not the new version, but the version that you download from the website, this will show up on the list if we rename this to mk2p.zip okay so we're gonna open MAME and we're going to find Mortal Kombat 2 plus um, on here somewhere uh, I don't see it mk2p there we go so Mortal Kombat 2 plus beta 2 and that's it for that. Now, if you are running it on a different version of MAME, so the one that was not provided by the website, you would keep it named MK2, but you'll notice if you go to try to run it, MK2, you'll get an error. In order to run this game on a version of MAME that is not designed for the MK2+, Plus, you have to do it via command line. So uh, you could make a batch file. The easiest way to do that would be um, to open Notepad. Um, let's see. Notepad. You're going to type uh, start name 64 space the ROM name. So MK2. Okay. Now we're going to go to File, Save As. And down here where it says text documents, we're going to change it to all files. Uh, we're going to put it in our folder, which is in the root directory here that we've been working in. This is our main folder. We're gonna uh, we'll, we're gonna call it whatever you want to call it, like play mk2 plus, and give it the extension dot bat. And we're gonna save it. So when we run play mk2 plus dot bat, it will start the game. It's beta 2. Um, the biggest the, the biggest issues I see people have when patching their ROMs is selecting the wrong files when going to patch. Make sure when it wants the IPS file, you give it the IPS file. And then when it wants the original ROM file, you point it to the original ROM file. A lot of people will open the IPS file and then patch the IPS file and it's because they can't see extensions. So remember, make sure that file name extensions is selected so you can see what you're doing. Um, I believe that is it. Uh, also, the uh, the ROM 
you might find a ROM that is these are named differently. They look more like uh, the patch file names. That's fine. It doesn't matter what it's named as long as it's the correct file. Um, UJ12, UG12. You know, you got it. Uh, let's see. That's about it. Um, uh, remember, if you are uh, if you're a contributor, you get access to the Discord contributor section, and um, sometimes Paul or Drew will drop current betas for Mortal Kombat 1, 2, or 3+. Plus. Um, so it's always fun to have. Also, you get your name in the credits in the game, so um, consider becoming a contributor. Just go to the website and, uh, and contribute. Uh, hit us up in Discord if you have any questions. And uh, uh, once again, thanks to Paul and Drew for the amazing work they, they do. It takes an ungodly amount of hours to do something as far as, like, as, as small as changing a color palette, okay? So, I mean, they put a lot of work into this. You know, we want to make sure you uh, drop them a thanks, if even if you're not going to contribute. And aside from that, uh, that's it. Thanks uh, for watching, and have fun. Good luck in unlocking all the characters and the... Uh, all the hidden secrets.